wanted to share um, some of my impressions about standing desks. Um, I think you may be familiar with uh, this kind of uh, concept because if you're a regular Hacker News reader, you see this kind of subject popping up like every two weeks or something. Uh, and even like actually a few days ago, I didn't expect that, but there was a guy like telling like his two years experience with uh, standing desk, and uh, I only have uh, three weeks to share with you. So uh, I can't be that guy, but at least I um, have some insights and maybe uh, sharing also how I made it myself. It could be interesting for some of you. Um, so as I mentioned, yeah, it's, it's comes up very frequently in Hacker News, and the main reason why it comes frequently is because most people who are programming, they are obviously doing code and keyboard in front of their screen, and most of the time you do that sitting down. So uh, you end up with lots of people trying to find a kind of better way to work, uh, which is not uh, requiring them to be sitting all the time. Uh, and that's kind of natural to, to see this kind of growth session in a, you know, kind of happy news, in a way. Uh, my motivation there um, is kind of a bit different. Uh, I didn't, uh, I don't really have the issue of working with computers the whole time like that, uh, because it's more or less like the way I want to work, uh, in like my environment of work. But um, I don't think like sitting down the whole time is very healthy either. So uh, I'm trying to find also a better solution for you know my own balance uh, when I'm actually you know doing some office work. And uh, you see also this kind of thing very frequently, like you know sitting is going to kill you, it's going to remove like 20 years of your life, you're going to die from cancer, you're going to have like uh, you know, cardiovascular issues, uh, and they're all claiming that this is the truth about sitting down. Uh, so this is like the new cancer or something for you know. No, 21st century. Um, I have some problem with all this kind of thing uh, because most of the time, these kind of studies is actually done uh, what you call like observational studies. So uh, this is just like you're looking at different groups of people and you're asking them like what you have been doing for the past few years, and then they look at a few parameters and then they, they try to find a way to differentiate them depending on that particular factor. And they say, oh, people who are sitting on too long actually die younger than other people. And it could be true, but the way those studies are really designed is, is kind of um, a fraud, because they don't look at all the different variables that may be explaining why these people die earlier. Maybe they have other health problems. Maybe they're smoking. Maybe they have other you know, conditions that induce these kind of situations in the first place. So it's just like if you're saying, for example, like all serial killers that we, we have recorded, the average giants, and you're saying like vegetarians tend to be serial killers. It doesn't make sense. But you know, there's a kind of reasoning they apply behind this kind of, of studies. So um, I think you have to be very careful when you hear this kind of you know, science, because actually it's pseudoscience. And they usually all use this kind of pseudo like, you know, graph and charts to make it sound like scientific, but it's really far from being scientific. And today I call that bullshit. Uh, <laughs> but um, if you want to know more about you know, what's a good design for studying, this kind of phenomenon and conditions. Uh, I recommend this book from uh, Ben Goldack, or Goldacker, I don't know how he pronounces his name. This British guy who is uh, actually a doctor and uh, who's been a famous uh, advocate of good science uh, principles uh, in a number of industries, especially for the pharma industry. He's, he's frequently criticized the way the clinical trials are made to prove that medicines work and so on. And uh, he has lots of very good points on you know, what, is, what makes a good trial, what makes a good experiment. And uh, he's explaining that in a very simple way to people who have no scientific background. So if you have interest in that kind of you know, thing, I recommend this is a very good read. Now, back to topic. My topic is actually my back. Because uh, I have been having some kind of back pain for the past uh, year and a half. And uh, I'm not sure if it's coming from the fact that I'm sitting down too much or whether I'm aging or I've done exercise enough. So there could be many you know, conditions like contributing to that effect. But I haven't been able to basically get around that issue very easily. So I've been looking at you know a few solutions, and uh, one that comes up you know often I can use, and you know I wanted to try one day or another is a standing desk. <laughs> so yeah, my pain is around that part of the lumbar area, and if I sit very much uh, like five or, five or six hours in a row, I tend to have you know kind of discomfort there and it doesn't disappear very easily after that so I try to you know move stand up in a while walk around a bit it makes things better but it doesn't you know fix everything so the standing desk idea basically is that you're basically in upright position your hands are at the lower you know kind of position where you can use your keyboard and your eyes are at the same level as the screen so that's kind of ideal position you're looking at and how do you make 
this kind of desk. Well, there's lots of ways you can actually you know, make it or even buy it. Uh, you can buy very expensive ones. Uh, you know, on the web, you have many sites that sell it. Uh, you have this very fancy one that have like motors that you know switch from upright to sitting on position. So that enables you to actually choose and switch you know, during your workday. Uh, but if you want to go very cheap, I recommend you, know, you go to ITO. <laughs> uh, that's what I did. I went for like, a kind of twenty dollars solution, actually yeah, two thousand two hundred yen. Uh, that's about what it cost to make mine, and uh, one hour of work at home. And the design is basically based on buying a bed table, buying a shelf, and buying some brackets that you're going to fix on the table, and so on. And you have these, of course, some crews to fit them all together um, so that you can get attached to it. And it's actually, it's not really a full desk itself, it's a desk on a desk. So you already have a desk at home, and you're going to put that on top of your desk to achieve the effect of a uh, standing desk. And that's uh, what it looks like. Uh, actually in a reality. So you have this normal desk which you would sit on, I mean sit on, in front of it, and you just put this system, as I mentioned here, on top of that, and you're actually almost at the right position. You may have to adjust depending on your height. But it's, you know, it's basically providing the kind of target situation you want to have. And my setup here um, is basically this one, as I mentioned. And you can see here you have the brackets fixed on the table, and this shelf you can basically remove uh, if you want to clean it up or whatever. You can of, of course like screw it up if you really want to, but you know I kind of like it to be removable as well and I need it. So a few takeaways after three weeks of usage. Um, the first thing I noticed um, when I started standing at the evening after work is um, that I don't doze off as much as before in front of the computer. Uh, I used to, uh, to kind of really fall, fall asleep and be, be very tired while sitting in front of my computer in the evening. Now, because of the standing upright position, uh, it's really easy to, get to stay active and to stay focused on what you're doing. Um, I, I really see a difference there, and I think it's very much linked to the fact that when you're standing, uh, you already get a faster heartbeat, heart rate. Uh, but your heart rate is going to get about like 10 beats per minute faster. And that basically flows more oxygen to your brain and so on. And uh, I think this is basically the reason why you can stay you know, more awake, and more vigilant uh, when you're standing. Second thing I noticed is that my back pain actually went better uh, after a while. This could be biased for me you know, to wait for a longer time to confirm this is working or not. But uh, I noticed that I really don't feel as much pain as before uh, in the back. Uh, and I can sit for a longer period of time without feeling discomfort anymore. It's not completely fixed, I still feel like I shouldn't be sitting the whole time uh, and these kind of things, but somehow I feel some improvements and I want to continue and see if it's working you know, as expected. The only thing that so far has been uh, proven to be some kind of inconvenience is uh, in the morning. In the morning, I have a very hard time to motivate myself to stand up you know, in front of the system <laughs> because I just can't get up. I'm, like, I'm very tired in the morning, not very tired. Like, I'm not very fresh in the morning when I get up. So I, I try to first sit down and to reach the motivation stage where I want to stand up is actually very hard. So I kind of given up all computer activity in the morning like, before I go to work. Uh, so I do most of the work that I want to do in the evening instead. Um, and this works you know, pretty well so far. So. My takeaway is that I would definitely keep trying the system. Um, as I mentioned, it's very cheap to set up, so if you really have any interest in this thing, I recommend you to try this kind of system because you know, it won't cost you much and you can see if it works for yourself and, you know, and scrap it if you don't need it anyway. And uh, yeah, I think overall it could be a very interesting way to you know, balance your sitting and you know, standing activities and make sure you have some kind of more stable muscles in your back and so on, and prevent maybe a degradation of your, your back situation. At least for me, this is the way I see it. Um, but I hope you don't have the same problem as me, but you know, maybe you, you better be vigilant about your, your sitting kind of That's it. If you have any questions, go ahead. So did you have a plan before you went into IKEA, IKEA or did you just kind of rummage around and go, oh yeah, use this and put this together and see what happens? So, I had a plan because I actually saved my bookmarks, one of the links from the Arca News uh, from like last year, for this guy who did the same system as the same thing. So I just went to the same pieces and uh, I checked when I was there whether it's really going to fit my needs, uh, like with the height and so on. And uh, yeah, basically do the same, same idea that they take. So I think like standing for eight hours a day, standing wouldn't work, but 
like I know uh, personally anyway, like I'm good for about two or three hours and mm. then I need to get up and have a break, right? So I guess perhaps conversely, if you had a standing up desk, you would probably, after a couple of hours, you'd probably take a seat and sit down for a bit. That's right. And uh, actually, I have a kind of bar chair behind me. Right. When I, I feel I want to take a short break, something from standing, right, standing yeah. up. But so far, I don't feel so much discomfort in uh, you know, just standing up, even for several hours in a row. Um, I feel that it becomes very bearable after the first few times you do it. Um, and probably I think you get some kind of stamina in the end, you know, as to you know, you can, how long you can stay up like that. Uh, I know some people complain that they have uh, some kind of you know pain in the knees or you know the muscles and the, and the legs and also like the, the feet, uh, but so far I haven't experienced any of that. So I hope it's going to be you know the same in the future. Mm. Well, I know uh, my wife had a job where she was working at Hotel Nico in Unity, and she would be standing up all day and it would kill her. So, but I mean, it's just it's about balance, isn't it? You've got to right. have the sitting time, sitting down time as well. And, so in your case, you're not using it at work, right? You're using no. it at home. At work, I have to sit. <laughs> right, right. So, right. so during the day you're sitting, then when you come home for right. a couple of hours when you're working on your own projects? Is that yeah, that's right. So during the day, uh, I'm sitting, but like, I'm trying to move around as much as possible, change rooms and you know, go in different, different places, at least to walk a bit, uh, not to stay in the same position the whole time. Uh, so I try to kind of manage as well during the day, uh, not to be in the same you know desk the whole night. And yeah, as I mentioned, at, at night I, I do the effort of standing up the whole night. I mean, until I go to sleep. Yeah, I wonder from like a creative perspective, you know, people go for walks to get their ideas, and you know they're getting the blood circulating. That. So what if you were to put like a walking machine mm. underneath the, the table and then? Yeah, some people actually do that. They put a uh, yeah, running machine you know, next to their computer and they actually yeah. program while they're working. Like, <laughs> I cannot look stupid, but uh, <laughs> why not? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think it replaces exercise. As you mentioned, probably you need to anyway, keep you know, healthy, don't eat too much, and you know, exercise a bit outside. Uh, but it's, it's probably a combination of things that makes you know, overall you know, posture better in here. Mm. So you imagine that in the morning you have um, trouble motivating yourself to start getting on it in the computer. It actually sounds like a program on stream. You stay up, stay up longer at night, and wake up later. Oh, right. <laughs> and then just go straight to work. <laughs> I could do that. I, just, I try to take things easy in the morning. I, I don't want to be rushing, so I try to wake up a bit earlier. And I used to do a bit of work in the morning, but now not so much anymore because of that. But yeah, it's not enough. Tip another way to make it that, I, that what I do is um, sure you've all seen the, the little screw to screw together uh, desks that have the little back brackets with shelves. Right. They sell in the boxes like that. Mm -hmm. I use that and I just flip it around to be my standing desk. And when I need to sit for a bit, I flip it back around. It's on wheels. It's really really light. It spins around and stuff. Because I've got a very small office, mm -hmm. so it's you no know, place to take things off. And, uh, and they're the same, they're like, you know, Nissan, Sunset, That's right, something right, like right. that. Anybody here has any experience like using standing desk before? Not what? using, I mean, a uh, place where I worked at uh, Heavy Feet, I mean, 650 people, um, there was about 50 people with standing desks. Mm -hmm. um, um, but before they'd assign the standing desk to anyone, they'd, they'd do uh, OHNS, OHNS. But the guy, it's like um, um, economic. Assessment on, on them before uh, before they would assign them a standing right. desk. So uh, I do know that some people wanted standing desk, but after doing the assessment, they said yeah, that you're not you're not quite suitable right. for it. So, right. so um, what were the criteria to say? I, I, don't, I can't remember. Oh. I just remember that uh, some people would say they get. No. But I mean, these are these are people that typically would work. I mean, typical work hours is ten hours a day. That's them, and then this crunch. So. It's, <laughs> And then there's the sleeping bag underneath the table. Oh, okay. Time, which yeah, happens yeah. always in the last three weeks of the movie. So, um, yeah, they work a lot of time in front of the computers. And any, anyone that got a standing desk also got uh, like a bar stool type thing. And there were also some people that had three quarter standing desks, like one full, 
form of work at their height. You mean sites? Okay. Yeah. Um, and they just had a high, high chair. I think oh. something like, yeah. yeah. Just then there's, there's gym balls. Oh, yeah. Sorry? Then there's gym balls. What happened to gym balls? Yeah, there's a lot of people had them as well. Right. What's that? I used the, the gym ball from that. Ah, oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So I suppose you shop around for any something that will. Yeah, basically. And there's nothing. Okay. Oh, but do you have any discomfort when you're sitting, like, during the day or. No. <laughs> I have yeah. a sleeping problem. Sleeping problem? Like, after lunch, I have a hard time. Oh, yeah. Oh, me too. It's because I'm smashing out of the system. No, no, but I mean, it's probably, yeah, it's due to the food. And That's just food from that. Right, right, right. But, but it, it strikes me that what you were saying about the increased heart rate and the blood mm -hmm. flow could potentially um, counteract yeah, that. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, I mean, I, um, I don't know how that works because you still, you're not actually moving, right? You're probably... Maybe your body is spending pretty a bit more effort into keeping your balance so that you're actually standing. But yeah, that was surprising. Yeah, there's a, a lot of fun. You legs get tired first few days, mm -hmm. weeks until you, you get used to it again. That's right. Yeah. Um, just standing for a long period of time, you yes. work a lot more yeah. than you realize that you right. work. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of just the little wiggle muscle in your body and yeah, you balance. Yeah, and like that. that's like standing always in the same position. You tend to like you know move around it and like try to find some balance when you're when you're actually standing. So it's not like you're completely immobile or something. Right. And, so, and yeah. stupid is that I'm not especially to admit this, but also when when you later on you kind of fall asleep. You know, you like to put some jams on when when you're standing and you're listening to some music while you're programming. You can't just let go. You can't do it when you're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear know, that some people like standing desk mainly because um, when they're working on problems and they see like okay, this is too difficult, instead of like opening up right and starting to well, they just like walk away. That's yeah. right. They're already the, standing up. Mm -hmm. That's what I was about to say. It's like you don't even have to walk away. It's just like you're you're more you're ready, yeah. able to just step back for a second and think. Yeah. You know, you're just right. not like trapped sitting there. So exactly, you go to Twitter. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, one thing I was worried when I was you know going to experiment with standing desk idea is like the keyboard part. Will it be uncomfortable to you know yeah. type when you're standing up? Actually, not so much. Not too much difference. Less than I expected. Yeah, it's my problem is I have a laptop, so I can't really ah, right. get yeah. separate and so perfect. Do you plug a separate keyboard or something? I could do, could try it. Yeah, I, I kind of got it fine for my hands, and I just sort of tilt my laptop right. way back. And it works. Yeah. What well, supports the weight of your arms? Hmm? Um, they really the, the shelf. So how much of your forearm is on the shelf? Um, so the shelf is kind of probably like this kind of size there. So I would say like. Only my, this kind of, you know, portion of my arm is there. So most so of the weight is resting on this part? Not so much, really. Your more like you're like holding, it's actually hanging. Yeah, you're holding your wrist. Really. So, um, yeah, if you're typing a lot, maybe it would get tiring after a while. Um, but, yeah, no more usage, I think it's fine. The only other thing that I've found when, when you're looking at how to put it together, the, the annoying thing i found is I don't have a little desk to put a paper and write notes. The, that, that desk now is down oh, right. on my oh. knees and I can't, you know, I find myself sometimes dropping to my knees and sitting and using my radio have, have to write notes. I have a solution for that, I have a kind of whiteboard that's actually nested yeah. to it, so I just like write on it. Yeah, some, some of that, just to think about that part of it too. Hmm. That's kind of practical because the whiteboard is next to you and you can just walk mm -hmm. to it and, you know, yeah. it's actually very easy to just do it. Over yeah. Something like that, but you need something like that. You don't think about it when you're making your little shelf. And if you work in, in, a, in a work environment with other people, it's very annoying having a, like a... People no, no, well, you go to someone with, with a standing desk, right? And you sit down next to them, and you're like this. <laughs> <laughs> and they're at the monitor, it's like... <laughs> yeah. So make sure you get a second chair for those people. If you're in cubicle land, 
Yeah, I was thinking like to experiment with at work is maybe like do like standing meetings so that people would go creepier okay. about you know whatever they're doing because uh, they're always like really sitting so they just tend to you know Calm. take their time. Yeah. Um, I think if everybody like standing up with no chairs, I, I think they would go much faster about what they're talking about. <laughs> Actually, it's what we do in my company. Oh, yeah. Partly because in my company, it, it looks like a sweatshop, so there's there really <laughs> not choice, but it's like, oh, we're in a meeting, so we're going to stand up, and that way it shows that we're not actually doing anything on the computer. But Does it work? It, it works really fast, but that's one of the good things that we do is fast meetings. It is tiring, though, so it's just like, I guess, when you're tired, or you're getting late, which I usually do, it's like, you, you can just duck in a corner and be like, oh, pretend I'm there, this thing. But, I mean, yeah, it's, it goes pretty fast. Obviously, it's, it goes fast because mm -hmm. people get tired of it. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's the point, yeah. yeah. I work in a sales environment, and um, everybody makes a lot of phone calls. And I'd say it's 50-50. Some people can sit at their desk and make calls, and other people have to stand up, and they have to pace. Or they, there's no space to pace, so they, they're literally doing what you're doing. But some people can't sit there. And there's a, occasionally people get on the floor, and they can get it under their desk so that they can concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much activity going on. Right. But I'm a stander. I have to stand. Like I can sit there and do this, and I, but when it comes time to thinking out what I want to, I have to stand up. I, I just wonder how much of it's sort of, I don't know what would be the right word, but habit or mm. or um, sort of wiring, if you will. Mm. Also, a good pair of shoes um, may go a long way for your back. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. You know. <coughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, actually, I have some kind of special. Uh, Stuff in my shoes really like to help about that. No more stilettos. Sorry? No more high heels. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.